We're in section 3.6. We're going to do example 3. We're going to classify pairs of lines, and we need to do just a little bit of review on system of linear equations. Um, some of these systems could, um, could be parallel, and what you're looking for is they have to have the same slope, but the y-intercepts are different. So the description you're looking for as you're talking yourself through and looking at these equations, you're looking for same slope, different y-intercepts, and then you would classify them as being parallel lines. If they are intersecting lines, that just means they crisscross at some point in time, they're not parallel, they crisscross, then they're going to have different slopes. Doesn't matter if their y-intercepts are the same or different, doesn't matter. They could have the same exact y-intercept. It doesn't matter. If the slopes are different, they're going to crisscross, we call those intersecting lines. This last one might be some new terminology for you. We call them coinciding lines. What that means is it's the same line graphed on top of itself. So write those down in your electronic notebook. They, have, they would have the same slope, same y-intercept. Write those three down and distinguish between them their descriptions of how you can tell um, whether it's parallel, intersecting, or coinciding. Okay? And that's what we're going to do in this example. So let's start with example three, and let's do letter A. They gave us the slope. So we have slope of two, y-intercept is three. This line, slope is two, and the y-intercept is negative one. So from where I'm standing, it shows that we have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. So we would say, oh, these are parallel lines. That's how you know. You don't have to necessarily graph them. You can look at their slopes and their intercepts. All right, letter B, we know that the first line has a slope of 3, and the second line has a slope of negative 5. The second line is in standard form. Standard form doesn't tell you anything. So we're going to have to rearrange this. So remember what we do. Our goal is to get y by itself. So your first step is move the x over. Okay. All right. So now the x is over there. Now divide everything by negative 2. And you're going to end up with the equation y equals positive 3x minus 5. This 2 has a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of negative 5. What do we call lines? How do we classify them if they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, thus making them the same line? We would say, oh, these are coinciding lines. That's how you would classify that. Okay, do you see what you're looking for now? Same slope, different y-intercepts. Those are parallel. Same slope, same y-intercept. Those are coinciding. Okay? All right, so let's look at letter C. Um, not really in a good form that we could use. So let's take 3x plus 2y equals 7, and let's rearrange this so we can accurately tell something about their slopes and their intercepts. Okay? All right, now I'll divide everything by 2. And it looks like this first line has a slope of negative 3 halves and a y-intercept of 7 and a half. So slope, negative 3 halves, y-intercept, 7 and a half. Okay, looks good. This one, all you got to do is divide everything by 3. Okay, so it looks like this one has a slope of 4 thirds and a y-intercept of 7 thirds. Okay, let's look at the slopes. Oh, well, they're completely different. That means these are intersecting lines. Okay? That's how you, that's how you can tell. But it, it is a little bit easier when the lines are in slope-intercept form so you can compare them. All right? Mark anything that may have been confusing and bring your client questions to class tomorrow.